FF9 playthrough. Uh, last episode, we managed to go get Ramu and managed to find our ways into the underground excavation area that leads to the next continent. So we're going to continue on here, once again just using the load game feature. A little bit worried about using the continue because I did lose all my blue magic doing that. We're going to keep powering on though. So, this is the party at the moment. Once again, we've got Vivi, Zidane, Sarah, and Quinn. Sarah, once again, being Garnet. Uh, haven't done any work off stream from all the items, but I will come back and uh, keep working on these as we go. Uh, but from what I understood, our first mission is to head north through the cave here. Once again, we'll be spending about an hour and a half here just trying to get to the other continent. Once again, we can ride these bugs, I forgot what they're called. To the very series of the line. Current course, switch one. Okay. Okay, so that's where the flowers are the next time I want to take a picture, right? So this is the switch. Flip the switch. So now we're going the other way. So I'll pull on the... I think it's a Gargantua. Get your ride back the other way, and now we should be going the other track. Oh, nice. So the water directs which way they're going to go. Just waiting for those random encounters to kick in. Alright, Nathan from that chest. Not too bad. Not really hurting for ethers, because once again, most of the time I just tent up if I need to heal MP. Head down this way. Now switch to current course. Interesting. So I actually haven't taken this route before, so this will be interesting to take. So now we head back this way. I could be getting this horrendously wrong, by the way. Uh, why can't I access those? What the heck? I should be able to pick up these flowers. There we go. Head back up, hit your ride. If I swap this back, and then I head back the other way, I should be able to take the other one back the other way, I think. We'll find out. Yep, beautiful. And I know I say this every single episode, but I still can't get over how fantastic more green mod makes everything look. Like, it, it scales it up from an early 2000s game to a modern game. Something that feels like it's just released this year. Alright. So I should be going the northern part. Yep, beautiful. And then we'll go back the other way afterwards. I might have got to say. Hey, you made it this far already? You want to buy something? Of course, they just want to sell me stuff. Uh, Mithril Armlet I've got heaps of. It's not really an issue. Adam and Person have got... Yeah, nah, you got nothing that interests me. Come visit me again. I probably won't. Alright, so we'll head up north here. Let's see what we've got up here. Ah, so this is the upper section. Switch four. Okay. I'm going to flip that at the moment just because I want to see what's up that path. I haven't been up that way yet. Okay. Off we go. Okay, so there's some leaves there. I'm guessing there's some treasure or a chest down here. Not 
there's a wall for me to climb. There's a switch up there, interesting. Can I climb it? Yes I can, alright. First things first, we'll go down, because you always want to go the opposite way to where they want you to go, of course. What's over here? Right, there's another gigan down here. I wonder where this one goes. Let's uh, get you a quick ride and find out. Oh gee, that's not clearly labelled or anything. <laughs> Big exit sign next to it. Okay, so we'll go around here. Another treasure hunter there. What's this way? Ah, so this is this re- oh, this area, I was gonna say this region. I can't get off there. What's this thing? Warning, you'll be shut out once you flip the switch and go outside. Treasure Hunters Association. Ah, so that opens up the exit. Okay, we'll open it up. Why not? <laughs> I like how the text kind of goes off. Oof, the water shot me down instantly. I don't know if Zidane's scared of the water or not, but whatever. Alright. So I'm guessing this is home free out of this area. Not really fast. If I was younger, I would have been really upset that I missed some treasures, but hey, it is what it is. This light? There's no mist here. Whoa, the outer continent. Here we are, we made it. So, first things first, uh, I'm gonna just maybe see some encounters, see if we can find any new items or anything around this area that might be of interest. Maybe a Chocobo Forest, who knows? Oh, it's a Zangle. I can eat these, can't I? Just give me one second, I just want to move my window. There we go. I'm guessing that will paralyze me if I attack it. Turn on the steel. Try and hit it again. Oh, it absorbs electricity. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> most of my attacks are electric based. Okay. We'll just do a regular attack. Zidane's gonna do an attack too. Go with Fira this time. Hopefully now we can do some actual damage to it. Well that instantly killed it, damn. It's really tough getting Quinazade off, and this is why I'm not really planning on using her through this playthrough as a main party member. Just because her skills are so frustrating to get. No Chocobo Forest down here. I will have to do the Choco Grabs eventually. There's another one. We'll just stick to attacks for now. He's not doing that much damage. 150 is really not that bad, especially with Auto Potion. After the two attacks, we'll see if that's enough. That's probably not going to be enough. Right, we'll try one Zidane attack, and if that's not enough, then... Yeah, I guess we'll just kill it. Move on. It's a quick scan, actually. We'll see how much health it's got. That should be enough. Thundara. That was a party line. 
skills you can get early game from e-skill because it completely outclassed all the magic skills that you had and it was cheaper so there was no reason to take like level 2 magics I wonder what it's like here I just want to have a quick read uh, natural magic reduces targets HP to 1 oh me oh my that's actually super good uh, alright we'll tent up really quick Say we'll ten. Yeah, we'll ten top. Just get some of that health back. The match magic will be really handy trying to get the other blue magics. The only issue is, blue magic's really not that great in this game. And this looks like another marsh. Question mark. We might be able to catch some frogs in here. Yep, this is another marsh. Fantastic. The moguls are there still. I already know everything, bro. Don't you worry. Ah, uh, we gotta go this way. More frogs. Alright, we'll do some frog catching very quickly. Zidane, can I catch frogs? Yeah, just for a little while. Thanks! We're gonna empty this place out. Got him. 13. Damn, missed that one. Got that one, nice. Oh no, I let it go, what the hell? Oh, gold one. Yes. 14. Okay, 15. You working hard, Quinna. You come far a long way at gold, man. I give you this. Elixir, nice. Thank you, Master Pal, I train more. And more, I will train, damn. There we go. Got that one. I just feel like th this mini game's so stupid because you literally just run around pressing X until you pick them up. There's no skill. It's literally just can you match the button and run around fast enough? Okay, we'll get 20 frogs. And now Frog Squash will do 20 damage. Hooray. Smash that X button. Smash that X button. I'm sure there's an effective way to do this, but... Got a thing out. And the last frog in this area. Where are you going, buddy? Yes. Oh, come on, I thought I had him. And we'll get it. Beautiful. 20. And that doesn't give me anything. Great. Are you done? I don't catch it because there's. I've literally cleaned this place out. Poor frogs. Just whole population decimated by this one fat, greedy quinner. Is there anything this side? No? Okay. Well, there we go. I got an elixir out of doing that, so partially worth it, I guess. Okay, I will check the map again. So, Q's Marsh, Fossil Roo, and nothing else. So, I guess I'll just move to my next object objective. I don't think there's anything. Just looking. Is that a Chocobo Forest down there? Actually. Ooh, Quiz Master. I want some more. I can help you out, Ladybug. No problem. There you go. Have some more. 
Tell me you want some more. I want more. Oh! Greedy ladybug. Oh, unless I'm gonna get a ton of AP from this. Alright! Say, tell Yeti I said hello, thanks. Such friendly monsters. How much AP is that worth? 20! Wow. <laughs> It's a lot of uh, abilities learned. Okay, that means that we can now revise our equips here. What's that? Still not learned. A bit frustrating, but that's alright. Ability ups almost done. Uh, Vivi's learned everything there. Now we can swap to the Oak Star. Big attack increase, stop bio and drain. Very nice. Gotta finish off that Stardust Rod very quickly. Mage Rod, nothing really new there. And, ooh, there was something, but Bronze Vest haven't learned Jelly yet. Eh, we might go with the Adamant Vest just for the time being, because that's a bit more defense. Oh, and removes Master, nice. So we can now swap to the Beret, because the Beret's got Chemist on it. Very nice. Okay, we're in a good spot. I think Quinn is fine. I mean, I could lower her attack just a little bit with the Mithril, but that's okay. Uh, Auto Potion, big one. And MP10. I don't have MP10 equipped, that's surprising. So we'll get rid of add stats for MP10. And we're gonna get rid of Jelly for Auto Potion. Because Auto Potion's actually really, really nice. We'll leave that to everyone. So we'll continue on. That does look like a chocobo for us, so we'll head down. Go do some chocobo pecking and then we'll continue on with the story after I get a few more chocographs. One goblin, interesting. I'm gonna steal from him. Slow him down. Attack, and we'll see if you need it. I don't know if I can eat Goblin Agents. Actually, I can use a scan with Sarah to see if he's got any abilities. Sorry, any... Any help. Let's see, I can't eat it until wake up, so white magic will scan it. Believe the wake up fine. Level 15. 900 health. Ish, or about a thousand health. So this should be pretty safe if I do these two. 37 damage. Wow, that's like nothing. Hit me with a big Thanara, ouch. But 8 auto potion, no problem. Just a little bit weary of doing too many attacks because I don't wanna don't wanna kill him, obviously. Okay, so that's about 600-ish damage. We'll go for an eight. It doesn't that doesn't work. Oh dear, gobble might just get a little bit. Ouch! <laughs> Alright, we'll pin your quinter up. Another two attacks. And we'll go for the eight again. He must have Goblin Punch as his ability. No, don't disappear! So I can still probably eat him. We're gonna use Cure on Quinn, because I want to see how much a cure is for. No Goblin Punch, nice. Alright, so there's another blue magic under our belt. An MP10. Very nice. Yeah, I think I'll just move all here. Use another 10. I've got so many of them. What? <laughs> okay. Apparently smashing the X button when you say you want a 10 doesn't have yes as the default option, so... That's weird, because I was just trying to smash through to rest, but it didn't, didn't let me. Very odd. Okay. Come back anytime, Kupo. Alright, 
Uh, it looks like a Chocobo Forest, but I can't be 100% certain. Uh, it's a look. What's this? This road leads to a dead end. Huh, reassuring. Let's have a look. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, I guess it does lead to a dead end. I probably have to come back with the Chocobo in order to access it. But alright, we'll head back up the mountain. I know that the next place is a, um, a major story area. Namely because on the Mogary Mod page there is actually... There is actually a picture of that place in the Mogary Mod. Just showing it off because it looks so beautiful. Funny how these things were like a big boss back during the event, now it's like just a standard enemy. Um, it's not that I'm I obviously did, but no point in the event because they got the skill on oh, no, OV hit France. Damn. I really don't like the trance system, honestly. I just feel like it's it, it's not controllable when you get it. And it's hardly useful. Okay. Ability up, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna heal up with a high potion, I think. Not worth wasting the 10 for that. Ugh, another one, jeez. Not a huge deal. We can take it out relatively quick. It's just kind of annoying. Sarah could use a cure. Just gonna stab it to death. Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have attacked with the BB. I admit, the default music sounds fantastic. Okay, beautiful. Keep on moving. Just like the 2DX song. I'm gonna learn what's that very soon. Oh, this is a new one. Maybe we can eat it. Do a steel. I got the on it. Actually, I think I've already eaten one of those, haven't I? Let's do a quick scan if it's not dead already. Do another steal. Let's have a look how much health it's got. Oh, it's got heaps in it. Wow, okay, never mind. Area. Weak against wing. Okay. Just a cheeky thunder. We need to do about 600 damage. That's not gonna kill her, thankfully. I should trigger an auto potion too. That should be about 600 damage, I believe. And then Quinnon, we're gonna eat it. Oh, that's way more than 600. Uh oh. <laughs> I've gotta make Quinnon attack. Oh well. If Zidane doesn't kill, we'll eat it, otherwise. Oh, White Wind. Very good skill. Very, very good skill, White Wind. Okay. Fingers crossed we can eat it, because that is a very powerful skill. 300 damage. Are we going for the 8? I'm not sure. Go for another attack. If the 8 doesn't work, then... 
Oh, all the way up. Wide win. Excellent. Okay. Really wanted that enemy skill. Ability up. Very nice. Oh, another Peridot. I believe that was the one with Ramu in it, yeah. Um, so, Whitewood is really good. Because if we look at it, 14. Restores HP of all party members. It's essentially a cure all for 14. And when you look at Garnet, and you see that her cure is 10, right? Whitewood's probably going to be more effective than Cura. So, in a pinch, it's probably going to be way, way more powerful. So picked up a lot of great blue magic in this section. That being said, don't need to worry too much about it now, so we can we can go nuts on these monsters now. Always gonna steal with, with Zadam though, because my god, stealing is amazing. Why does it only do 32 damage? Chunky 600 damage, very nice. Uh, Alright, I want to test out the one with that sword. Electric Q. So I think now it's immune to thunder attacks. Just defend the BB. How much is that healing for? 224, not bad. If I do a cure on. Okay, it's gonna die before then, but I wanted to see how much cure it does. Because the original White Wind that healed for the amount of health remaining on the party member using it for, you, for FF7. I guess I'm gonna learn who's that or what's that. I just wanna see because I wanna swap weapons pretty soon. The Butterfly Sword just does not cut it in terms of damage. Gladius has slow on it as well, which is really nice. Okay. I might just quickly learn what's that before we go to the next area. Although it really doesn't matter. Preemptive strike. Well, let's just steal from it. <laughs> Do a quick attack. Summon Rabu. Another attack there. Four forty eight damage, not bad. I find that quarter stabs are really inconsistent. Sometimes they do heaps of damage, sometimes they do very good. That's gonna be an auto potion. I think as time goes on, I may be dropping auto potion just because the animation takes so long. I mean I know it's a free turn. Like Later on in the game, it seems it'll be less less useful when you have like thousands of health. Okay. Level 18? Very nice. Alright, you know what? Let's not trade, let's just head straight in. What's this? Enter. Yep, that's the beautiful picture from Moggery Mod. Ponde Petit. We came all this way and there's still no mist at all. Yeah, and what a weird shaped village. What is this thing? Maybe it's a temple of some kind. It's very delicious shape. Inside might have fine cuisine. Oh, there goes Quill. Jeez. All he she ever thinks about is food. Well, all you ever think about is girls. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right, my mind is filled with thoughts of you! Oh, Zidane. Maybe I'm trying too hard. Yes, you are. Zidane, ever the ladies, man. Rally ho! Rally ho! W what's up with these little guys? Rally ho? R Rally who? Rally ho! It's like the tally ho. Hey, hold up! Rally ho! Oh, come on! Rally ho or sacred greeting? If you did not say Rally Ho, then you cannot enter Condé Petit, Hermitown to the Dwarves. 
Now wait just a minute here. Rally ho! Rally ho. Rally ho! You can pass! Active time event. VV and the couple. Let's have a quick look at this one. Hmm. The people here sure are different. Come hither ye. Ah, I'm sorry. And just who, where do you think you're going? You're always loitering a rude. Wish, would you stop heckling me for once? Away with you. Um, pardon me, but... Where would you be with me? You didn't have to get that so angry. If you didn't want to hear my complaining, you get back to work. All right, woman, all right. I'm guessing they're very harsh setting. Lazy, good, no good husband of mine, hmm? Mercy me. I know you're a wee one. Running errands here, are you? Um, pardon me, but... Well, give my regards to the others. Gee whiz. The people here aren't afraid of me. Hmm, curious, that. Were there other events that I can look at? Probably not. Welcome to Eretune. We came to this concert looking for someone. We didn't get many outsiders here. Not bad. Reading that out is such a pain. Twitter accused. Let's have a look. Rally ho! Rally ho yourself. This village have tasty munchies? Aye, that we do. Condi Petit is home to the most delicious nuts and berries in the world. I can see why folk are always stealing our food. How rude. Thieves very bad people. Aye, that's right. Mm, lots of yummy looking food here. Ah, you'll have to pumpkin that pumpkin bomb there for 1,000 gil. Huh? Why you need gil to eat food? If you didn't pay for something, you're stealing. Ooh, so you're the thief, ah, uh, you know? N not me, I only go man. You cannot fool me, thief. No, I'm not thief. Oh, poor Quinna. Kanda Petit is home to a heap of good food. What's your favorite? Season to go up, sure. Aye, that's great, but you have to try the, mount the mountain path for that. Oh dear. Oh, an outsider. How come you build your village on this spot? Because we feel the mountains, the woods, and the sun here mar anything else. See, so Kanda Petit is surrounded by the mountains near him, the woods, and blessed by the sun. Isn't that nice? What's through here? Oh, another event. But I can't communicate. Ah, <laughs> uh, dinner kin, what else we can do, lads? Oh, recipe exchange time, yes? Nay, that thief's been snitching our food again. I, I not thief. Nobody said you were a thief. Or well, are you hiding something? Uh, I know I have nothing to hide. These people so difficult. All right, lads, we have to take your eyes open if we're gonna catch your thief. But we're always looking out for thief, are we no? Purple hair. I think I know who that is. Soon I'm gonna have to find a way for me wee William. Oh, poor wee William. That character there was one of the main characters of my team for my initial playthrough. Of course, that's gonna change around this time around. I, I don't really feel like using Eco again. Sarah and William. Excuse me. Ah, so I'm gonna have to find a wife for me, wee, wee William. No lassie wants you, William, for the man. Well, what's wrong with this outside lass right here? Um, hi, I was wondering. Hmm, hey, she's a bunny lass at that. Have any of you seen. Ah, she's awful small to send to your sanctuary, didn't you, Ken? Look at her. She's a mickle bigger than you, yeah, Ken. I'm not marrying anybody. Sanctuary. Interesting. Can I buy stuff? Rally ho! What can I do for you? 
Well, you can definitely give me some of those, because potions are absolutely essential right now. Gotta make sure they're well stocked. Eh, don't need tents at the moment. Where's your weapon shop? That's what I want to know. Logner. Uh, I have a favour to ask you. I want you to deliver a letter to Susanna. Okay. Thanks, Kabo. Good work, safe. I really like how the save points are moogles, it's very cute. The only thing is it takes a while to get into the save menu, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, done. So we'll head upstairs, let's see what's upstairs. Oh, they're talking to Vivi. What's the matter, Vivi? Um, these two people. That tin you cooked for me was awful, it's good it was. What way did you cook it? Did you fizzle it with some oh yeah, your magic? The berries you traded me were stoned in two. But I like to say that's a wee lad that ye doing here your day. Hey Vivi, do you know what do you know these people? How could I? I've never been here before. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try talking to some other people. Oh, back to time it. Hungry Brian. Brian. Sis, I'm hungry. But you just ate a boiled owl, did you know? Ah, I did, but it didn't satisfy me vocalious appetite. Ah, I have to eat something wee more punch like, say. Valley ho! It's Mr. Pinny Pinty Hit! Valley ho! What have ye to sell today? It's a mage. Interesting. Go through the middle here, nice. Yeah, a man or a woman are joined by blessing of the sun. Of course, we're a wee bit young to receive the blessing just yet. Someday, I want to be joined to the Betsy at the top of the Kirk boat. And afterwards, we'll go to the sanctuary to inscribe our names together. Well, isn't that nice? Probably some sort of wedding place. Very nice. You didn't expect me to work on such a fine day as this, do you? No, I don't. You can stay the night for 100 gil. You're welcome back anytime you like. Yeah, I don't have any kin with me, so... no. Nah. But 100 gil is not a bad price for an inn. Oh, man. If you're a seasoned traveler like myself. Ah, here we go. The mystery unfolds. Hmm? Plenty thanks, you're good to always welcome here. Hey! <gasps> what the? Oh, wait! Hang on, Vivi! Come back! Vivi! Zidane, what's going on? I have no idea. But we've got to catch up with Vivi. Vivi, where's the black mage? He ran away. Huh. Where the heck did he come from? Has Brian found us? Do you kin... Do you kin the pointy hats? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> huh? Did you say pointy hats? Nay, I said pointy hats. They often come from the southern east forest to trade with us. They? You mean there's lots of them? And they live near here? Aye, but you got to go all the way around New Cliff and then go east to the southern east forest. They live so deep in the mouth of the forest that even the ooze didn't live there. What's that supposed to mean? Zidane, I want to go to the southeast forest and find them. Yeah, me too. I think it's a good idea. We might find some clues. If possible to try new food, anywhere fine. Alright, let's head to the southeast forest. Well, I guess that's the area that I was in before. With the big cliffs and stoof. Okay, so where was it? It was over this way. Alright, so we'll travel all the way around and then double back and go into that forest. The Soothen Forest. Alright, so some big attacks here. No big deal. Can't wait to swap to dance with this, this weapon is shocking. Compared to the stuff I've got available to me right now. 
really should have made this way way back, but I got lazy. What's that? Reminds me of the 2DX song for Samurai. But I think they say who's that in that. Who's that? Alright, so now we can equip the Gladius with Annoying Lucky 7. Let's just have a look at the abilities and see what they do very quickly. So, we've now got Annoy. Causes trouble to the target. And deals physical damage by luck. So, I mean, I'm guessing by your luck status... Oh, there is no luck status in this game, never mind. Okay, I don't know what trouble does either. And I don't think there's a guide telling me, so just give me two seconds. I just want to see what trouble does. So, F of 9, trouble status. Trouble, Meiwaku, is annoyed. It's a negative stat, when afflicted, a character will share half the subsequent damage they receive with other party members when attacked physically. The only way to heal the stateness is with anointment. Okay. So it, it's a, it turns a regular attack into an AOE attack. Very nice. Okay, the other ability I want is, um... Where's added stats? I want to throw that off now. I'll take that off and we'll throw one added stat. Where are you added stats? There you go. Okay, beautiful. What's that be attack? Uses own MP to raise attack power. Hey, that's not bad. I don't think... Ah, uh, look, we'll leave alert on, just because it's good auto potion we want on, so... Start to get that area, to that area where there's a lot of good skills. But yeah, I want MP attack on just because Zidane doesn't really use his MP. So, that's going to boost his attack even further. I do want to see a nice, juicy Zidane attack. Just want to see how much damage he's pulling off now that he's swapped to a decent weapon. Wow. 1.5k. Nice new dagger. Very shiny. I think this one stopped. Very nice. It's time to get on top of those abilities now, which is really nice. So this must be the Black Mage Forest, that's not a Chocobo Forest. That being said, I really do want to keep up with the Chocobo stuff. Because it would be nice to get the ultimate weapon. Oh, it's a void. It's a dead void. Thousand damage. Very big. Right, just like that. Bam, dead. It's nice to have this with a proper weapon now. Paradox are just dropping left, right, and center. Holy moly. Okay, so now that she's on auto potion, might go with the uh, Adam and Vest instead. And I believe. Oh, she's already learned everything with the self probe. But. Has anyone else seen it? Oh, I've already got two of them, so. Yeah, I'll just equip it on her. I think we're fine for abilities. Yeah, we are up to date. Okay, so we'll learn Blind, Stoner, and Shell off this one. And Cura's almost there, which is nice. Okay, anything else? Anything like? Nope. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, let's just keep powering on. Here we are. Okay, there goes the Black Mage. I think they live so deep in the forest that the Owls didn't even live here. They live there, sorry. Okay, so we've just got to follow where the owls are. What? Where there are owls, where there are no owls. Okay, so do we go the side where there are no owls? Okay, let's check this one. Know there'd be battles in here, but okay. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's an owl. Well, I'm going to steal from it, of course. Let's quickly do a scan of it, see what, what's up with it. Good thing I 
I got 90 potions. Otherwise, this would be a pain in the ass. Quick scan, see what's up with it. Okay, it's a Zemzler, level 20. 1.5k HP. Aerial. Weak against weak. Okay. So we want to do about a thousand two hundred damage, and then I'll find it. Combo should do the damage. Oh, nice! No, I find Rainbow Wind. That's a very pretty skill. That should be enough damage, I think. After that, I will go for the uh, the eight. If it's not dead. Oh, 400 damage. Zidane will kill him though, he does way too much damage. Yeah, unfortunate. Oh well. Still got a high potion, I thought, which is nice. And I want 10 key attack, which is very good. Okay, let's have a look. Well, there are no owls, where there are owls. Okay, so you want to go to the one where there's no owls and have them keep running away. Okay. Okay, check the sign again. Where there are owls, but there are no owls. Okay, so we'll go this way. Probably another owl again. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go to the big steel. fly away. And we are there. Nice. Oh wow, that's pretty. Wonder where we went. Wonder what weapons they have. Black Mage Village. <gasps> ah! Huh. Huh. Humans! What's wrong? Huh. Humans, run! W wait! Did you see them? Yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? went that way. But I... Hey! A village. Village always have good food. 
I could find. Mmm, -hmm, yum yum, cheese, you people. Active time event. Life on the run. Let's let's go with the top one. I think this is BB, right? The humans are here! BB! Throw open the door. Welcome! Huh? Uh, um, can I help you? Alright, so we've got some weapons here. Uh, Mythical Dagger, Gladius. Jerry Hammer, Lost Stardust, Mage Star. All the staves, Oak Star. All the others. Ooh, Magic Armor's here. Grab one of those. Ooh, Lamy's Tiara's new, and Ritual Hat's new. Grab those. Anything else is new? Magician, Cloak, and Survival Vest. Very right, nice. Thank you for all the new gear. Guess I'll check it out once all the party members are back together. But that's the main thing I wanted to check out. It's always the shop that's the most important for me. Alright, uh, different language. Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. But thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is a, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground, yes, our friends are buried under there. But why? That's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. He wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows a lot of things told me that this is what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried underground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. But what's he talking about? Was it a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because... Oh. Of course it cut off. Let's just burst into people's houses because I can. Alright, uh, visitor not invader. <gasps> um, excuse me, why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about, using us. You mean about Vivi? That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi the doll. So... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who's sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All humans are liars, you're lying! But it's true! I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Can I help you? Buy and sell. Ooh, they sell high potions, very nice. I'm not really using them. Um, I think the ethers are probably a lot better to use. Um, I'm gonna grab one of those anointments. And soft, we only have two of those, so we'll go up to five. Other than that, we are really well stocked. Really, really well stocked. Barely had to use any items up to this point, so. What's in here? Uh, this is an in, but you're not ready to check you in. We're not ready to check you in. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Received Virgo. What's Virgo? Should be the bottom of my list, no? Ah, here we go, Virgo. Watching the sunset from the cave, Virgo whispered, My only wish is to be with you now. Salatio story. Interesting. Okay, just take a look at some of these new items. I mean, we know what half of them are already, so not a big deal. I'm guessing we have to head up to Davey. Talk to baby. So we'll go to that. So 
Vivi went this away. Huh? Hey, Vivi! What's up with it? I don't know what's up with it. I guess we we'll go this way instead. Ah, so this was the end for the last time. Oh, there he is. Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, it's done. It's... it's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. Grr, I hungry! This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Yeah. I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call them today. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Zidane? Yeah, we'll rest. Don't call it a day. We're not calling this session a day yet. It's only been about an hour, so we'll keep going. Zidane, what if he just walked out? Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But... He's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Evie's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're beginning... What if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe. Just maybe. He'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home. Yeah. A place where he belongs. Hey, Zidane. When you said home... What's the matter? Can't fall asleep? What about, what about a bedtime story? Hmm. Let's see. Once upon a time. There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time. There was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Sit on. This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. This hippo people. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left home of his adopted father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a coloured light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Wham! Pow! Whack! Bam. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. This is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is me. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Baby. It's the same for Vivi, who's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello, nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live, and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died or not stopped. Um... Seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. 
I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stopped moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. Maybe I don't want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Travelling with your friends gives your life meaning? I... Jeez, heavy stuff. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Sarah? Zidane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Condipati say there was a place called Sanctuary, where entrance is restricted. I think this coup just said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? If Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Sarah and I got to spend some quality time together. What do you say? You know I can leave me here, I starve! Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go everyone. To Conte Petit, and to Sanctuary that lies beyond. Well, that was a fun little detour. And we picked up some new gear on the way too, so... Right, now that we've got everyone back together, let's have a look at some of this new stuff we got. Uh, we've got the Ritual Hat, that's already got counter on it, so not a big change, honestly. I don't think that's a great item either. That's only strength and defense. Uh, exchange for evasion, spirit, and speed. Rather keep the speed up. Uh, that being said, I will swap the bone wrist on because that extra strength does help out. But it's the learning mug, which is nice. Okay. Uh, she's still learning the racket. What about Helms? Okay, so she can learn Confuse from the Lamia's Tiara, which is nice. We'll throw that on. And the Magic Armlet for Clear Head. I think she's already learning Clear Head. So we'll throw it on me for the time being. Yeah, an extra bit of magic on him does go a long way. Uh, we've got the Survival Less with Locomotion, we've got the Magician Cloak with the Insomniac. Yeah, that Magician's Cloak is kind of disappointing, <laughs> honestly. Um, Put it on Vivi for the time being, just so I can learn that extra ability. Uh, no new accessories that have any significance, so it's out there. Quinn can learn counter from the ritual hat though, so nice, we'll give it to her. Uh, and the survival vest has like emotion on her, which is really nice. I keep saying her, but honestly, I don't know if it's a hair or a sheep. <laughs> I'm just generalizing here, so. Power belt on him for the counter. Nice. I think we are good to go. Alright, let's smash on. Actually, I do want to put him on the counter. That is a very good skill to have. Uh, MP doesn't matter so much with that. He's saying her, but it's like a gem. What's counter? Oh, there it is. I'm blind. I can get rid of antibodies once again. Status abilities just don't really affect me that much, I don't think. So, yeah, we'll run with that. So, let's head back, and we're gonna head off and try and get to the summer village to finish things off. Wow, oh, counter free for the whole jungle, the whole forest. That is a very bad occurrence. So, smack this thing. Wow, it's the dead. Zidane's too strong. <laughs> Yeah, that MP plus on the attack is just disgusting. Right, his light mug, very nice. I just double checked there wasn't any gear that I could swap that out for now. Yeah, the survival vest. Ah, the admin vest. Admin vest for stone killer and burn killer. Yeah, we'll grab that. May as well just learn some abilities while we're trekking around here. Ah, Cavellia, how's it going?
As you can see, I've uh, been smashing the game pretty hard. <laughs> now about 14 hours in, the dance absolutely trucking everything. Going pretty well, just got home. It's good to hear. I've really been enjoying this game. Uh, I've been doing about an hour and a half to three hours every single day. And I've been streaming most of it. I've been doing, I don't know if you've checked YouTube or not, but I've been putting an episode up. Uh, every single day. So I've sort of just blocked it off into segments and I've narrated the whole thing, so... You can enjoy the, the replays there if you want to get caught up or if you've got long trips and want to listen to something. One of my favourites of all time. I don't remember you saying that the last time we spoke. But yeah, I'm just on my way to the Sanctuary now. I'll have to check the replay sometime. Oh, please do. Okay, uh, we'll summon room. Actually, is it going to absorb remote? I'm not sure. I know these things can absorb lightning. Is it when they electrify themselves? Oh, it's only when they electrify themselves. Okay. Not too bad. He. Nothing auto potion can't fix. So I'm sort of running, I believe, good enough things on here. Like I've got everyone with auto potion on. I've got counter on Zidane, shattered control. I mean, while we're in the overworld, sure, I, I can play through the speakers. <laughs> God, I put Shattered Control. Auto Potion is great. It's great until you realise how much time it's actually taking up in a battle. Like, the battle could be over, and you're still just waiting for <laughs> Auto Potion to go off. Oh god, that sounds terrible. Hang on. Here you go. Where's sound? Uh, sound? Sound? There you go. You can enjoy this while we're going through the, the overworld. And why is it mono? Jeez, I picked a great YouTube video for this, didn't I? Fake X would be proud. <laughs> oh, it's a good battle theme. Oh god, it's a Cactuar. Uh Give me your stuff. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I want to eat it. I'm just going to quickly scan it and see what, how much health has it got. Wow, that was a lot of damage. It might run away. Oh, I'm going to try and eat it before then. Level 30. Oh yeah. Okay, should be eatable now. Head attack. Oh, jeez, okay. Come on, please eat it. Should be able to, right? No, can eat till weaker. Oh, God. Um, please don't kill Quinner, whatever you do. And please don't run away. Hi. Confused. Oh, God, please no. Duck went up. No! No! Uh, what cue is confusion? Is it remedy? Yeah. I'll try and remedy it. No! Don't kill it! No, oh, God! Quinner. What a fitting time for Shattered Control to finish playing. Also, wow, that is a lot of experience. That's not a win. Don't play the victory sound in 2DX. I'm appalled. Okay. Um, I'll turn the sound back on now. <laughs> uh, so disappointing. Made the battle very dramatic. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. Um, I'll just quickly tent up and then we'll head into town. Actually, that's a waste of a tent, isn't there a... Yeah, there's a... 
There's an inn in the town, isn't there? Oh god. I had to get into a battle now, didn't I? I can one shot this, thank you. Ah! Never mind. Alright, I gotta race him first. Life. BB. You attack, and you attack. And that should do it. Yeah, there is a town. There is a, an inn in that town. I did check. The town where they all sound Irish. Actually, Capelli, you're from the UK. Are they supposed to have Irish accent in this dwarven town? Because, God, I can barely voice what they're saying. Stoner and Drain. Nice. Okay, go on. Get in. Scottish. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there is from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin dwarf is blocked way out from shop on right side. No one can get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try to go as far as we can. And as far as we can, we will. Alright, let's try and do Scottish then. Did you beat the pooty hits? Sure did. A long time ago, a man tried to head out east or here. But he hadn't undergone the ceremony, so he couldn't have passed through. How's that sound? <laughs> I can't tell if I'm doing it right. Now, where was the inn? I'm just gonna find it. It's passable. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Here we are. Right. You can stay the night for a thousand gil. Aye. The bed may be small, but you do you good enough. Good stuff. Alrighty. Welcome back whenever you like. Oh, I've already forgot all my party members, but... Okay, so we've got to head out east, right? And we have to undergo some sort of ceremony. Say, I want to get through here. Bl what the heck? Blitheration! Only those who've received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is the ceremony? Speak to His Holiness. And where is His Holiness? I uh, don't know where he is. Okay, that doesn't help. That's the Kirk boat, the symbol of Conde Petit. What's a boat doing up there? Boat? I don't know, Kim, what you're talking about. What's a boot? Okay, we've got to find His Holiness. This is where we give thanks to the sun and the heavens. Now, Cavelli, this is your favourite game. Where is His Holiness? Kelly Finger Waver. What? <laughs> Rally Ho! You've been needing a good weapon for the road, will you do? Ooh! Stardust Rod, Flame Star. Anything new here? No, I think I've got everything. Yeah, they sell the same stuff as the Black Mages do. <laughs> what a great name. What about Thomas Goldplayer? He's you back. I can't sell you what you need to be needed. Matthew Watson, speak to His Holiness. I don't know King where he is. Where is His Holiness? You have to interact with the Kirk boat, then go find the child with the dog. Okay. Let's go have a look at the boot. We'll find the child with his dog. Or as my mother would say, the dwarg. Oh wait, this isn't the way to the boot. The boot's to the, the west. A. Alright, so we'll go have a look at the boot. Uh, not that side. Here we are. What's this? Some kind of roster or something. The current number of couples having received the blessing of the sun and the heaven through the authority of the father David have visited the sanctuary. 99. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of people. Uh, let's have a look over this side, or maybe this side. Ah, here we are. Seems a- ooh, a diamond? Is that what I think it is? No, surely not. Surely not. Ah, oh, okay, body temp. 
Although the dwarves in 14 use Lely Ho as their greeting, kind of a nod to this game. Well, Lely Ho was from FF4 originally, wasn't it? I believe. Actually, can V be learn that too? Let me have a look. Body temp and distract. Ah, okay, so everyone can learn body temp. What does body temp do? Yeah, it can be either. Yeah, so I mean, dwarves are a recurring theme throughout Final Fantasy. Oh, what am I doing? Ability. Body temp probably stops what? Frozen? Freezing heat. Yeah, nice. Okay. Freezing burn. Uh. What was she learning before that? I think I want to keep it on what she was learning before. She wasn't learning anything. Okay. I guess we'll um, leave it on her for the time being. Uh, I, I'll give it to Zidane afterwards. Once Zidane's like counter, because counter's, well, you know. Big move. It's useful for a fight later. Yeah, and I think that's the big thing. If you know the game well, and if you're prepared with the right skills, I, I imagine a lot of those abilities just trivialize fights. Right, it's we're gonna find the man with the doog. Oh. Hey mister. Are you the holy guy? I am Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, the priest has much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. Hmm. Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So, what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in Holy Union, they leave on a holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically it's a wedding. And a honeymoon, right? Ah, dinner kindy words, lad, but we think you understand. So we can go through the sanctuary if we undergo the ceremony, right? Oh, hey Sarah, yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched. But there's no way we'd actually- let's do it. What? See, so you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? But we have to see a few young folk nowadays. We're doing the 99 couples. I was worried about that very thing. But what's the harem? Now we can have our 100th ceremony. Uh, Sarah? What's going on? Here we go, ceremony time. Spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, now how did we get into this? What you with this man and woman as they begin their journey? We've got to do the ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Now hold on a sec, Sarah. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. No kidding. We have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but that's not the reason. That's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health. Of course, we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through the trails. Could it be that she likes me? <laughs> and the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Sarah, we're now man and wife. Time for the kiss. Oh, it's a dog. He's such a smoozy. Playing hard to get, eh? God. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she wants the D yet. Have you fits? No, 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 she joined into the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Ah, well. Time for us newlyweds to make the round, Sarah. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you cannot just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Hmm, let's see... What did you guys get married to? Oh, I'm doing this option. What did you guys just get married to? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Sarah and I can go on out to marriage. 
<laughs> Active time event, yes! Nipple tool joy. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's great. Help the string to carry you through the trials. Dot dot dot. And it him to follow the path. <laughs> it's beautiful. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man or woman. But is Quinner a woman? I so happy. <laughs> it's great. But me too. <laughs> Thief! Oh, that made my session. Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, Zidane and Sarah. Belly who? Happy fits. Up to the century then, are we? That's right. Will you let us through now? Belly who? Of course. Safe journey to the both of you. Quinna is an it. I know. Let's be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Mog, hurry! Kaboom! Stop, thief! W what's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Right, off we go. They got away. <laughs> we can't go any further. Does anyone live out there? Of course, no. It's forbidden. Ugh. And two thieves are always sn snitching food. Oh yeah. I catch him next time. This baby and Quinter. Oh hi guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Y yeah. Thief have now to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. And on we shall press. God, that's gotta be one of the best moments of this game so far. Oh, I haven't lost it that hard since starting to play this game. Oh look, she's stuck! <laughs> hey, I remember this bit. The mountain Poost. Kapopo! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught! Kapo! What's wrong, Mog? Kapo! Wait, don't leave me here! <sighs> stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mom, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has no- he has a tail though. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me. I won't taste good. It's true. I taste awful. You heard it, Quinner. I see. Too bad. That Moogle that ran away, a very strange colour. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah! Gotcha! Th thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. And we are going to go with Eco. So I have to hit the enter button on my keyboard. The name's Eco. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduce yourself first. You got a problem? I'm Sarah, and this is VP. Yeah, what about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Zidane, alright. So, Miss Eco, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Quinner. Hey, did she, he really go chasing after that moon? Oh no! He, she's gonna eat Mog! I don't think Quinner would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Eco? Yeah, beyond this path. I'm sure Moog went home. There. I'm in Scottish mode, jeez. I'm sure Mog went home. <laughs> why don't we take her home? Yes, yes. Anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. I want to be your friend too. Alright then, let's go to our new friend's house. Can I use her in the party? Oh, she's in the party! Hooray! So yeah, my original playthrough I used, um... I used Eco through most of it, so... Oh, she can learn white magic too, nice. So she can learn protect. 
Definitely want to give it a protect. Uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, just antibody. Right. Okay, so she was learning cure. I do not know why I used two white mages. Fenrir and High Tide from the Sapphire, nice. Yeah, this playthrough I wanted to use, um... I'm still tossing up, but I definitely want to be using Freya. Because in my original playthrough I used Zidane, Garnet, uh, Steiner and Eco. Because Steiner's an absolute beast, right? This time around I wanted to sort of mix it up a bit. I wanted to try out Freya and Adamant. 573 HP. Of course. <laughs> um, but I don't think Adamant's that great. I don't really like his character design. Oh, there's Ooglops everywhere, what the hell? Okay, we'll come through here, grab the chest. You see the tent? Ugh, got so many tents. What's this? Red stone is set there. Take it out. Received the red stone. Nice. Never used him either. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem that compelling of a character, so... I don't mean, you get him so late in the game. Man, those Ooglops sure run fast. Can I pass through here? No. We'll just keep heading north. Okay. Oh, there's still skin. You want to buy a magic tag ten and eighth of a six 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 gill. Bit eerie, but sure. All right. Thanks, buddy. With this money, I can continue my journey. Okay. Ah, uh, Suzuna. I've got a letter for you, Suzuna. Thanks for delivering mail from Mogmart. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him, Kapo. It's been six months since I started living in Condé Petit. The food here is great, and the people are very nice, Kapo. But, but, the only thing I can't get used to is the rally ho. I keep saying rally, Kapo. Village life sounds hard, Kapo. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a quick save here. Let's save, Kapo. Throw in a save here. This thing can say I'm about 15 hours in. So getting there. This is a long game though, like I forgot how long this is. Okay. Um, I want to go down this east path first. I believe we can put the stone in here, can't we? Nope. There's a hole. Put the redstone in. Yes, anytime there's a hole, Zidane is urged to leave it alone. <laughs> you know how he is around holes and women. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What's that? Like I goes from sixteen by nine down. Very pretty looking tree. Now the last time we saw a tree, it blew up, so I'm a bit worried. Poor Clara. Got absolutely demolished. <laughs> Zidane, you just ran from off screen. What the hell? Is that the sanctuary? I'm guessing a fight's coming up. I like how ominous the tree looks. What the? This must be the battle. Yep. Probably should have had uh, the body skill on, right? Whoa, he's pretty big. He looks so jolly though. Okay, so first things first. Fairy Fleet, very nice. I'm gonna summon Fenrir, because that's gonna do a ton of damage. Earthquake. Um, try slowing him. Watch that. Oh, jeez, that was a fair bit of damage. Uh, we'll go for the steel again. Is everyone going to auto potion here except the eco? I think so. I think you can steal some nice stuff from it, and that's, that's the plan. I'm going to... Basically, I'm going doing nothing but stealing for the time being. Uh, I'm going to get... Maybe... Sarah to heal next. You shouldn't steal. Sorry, fellas, Kevin. Terrestrial Rage. Here we go. Is that a slur? Is that a slur? 
this for you guys? Holy moly. You got the rarest item problem, nice. Eco, was that an Adalon? I didn't know you could use summon magic. Sure can. Alright, my magic. Cure up on Eco before she dies. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Jeez, you should give it back. Yeah, I probably should. Oh, this was really nice. Uh, we'll use the pinion on VV. And then we're just gonna smack this guy. We're back to Konami numbers. Hallelujah. Right, gotta stay on the offensive. So we'll do the attack there. Oh god, Vivi's dead again. Jeez, that earthquake is just nuts. Uh, what I can do... I don't think I have it yet, actually. We'll do a cure on everyone. So it should go life and then cure up. That's the right thing to do. Absolutely. No, you're not wrong. Stealing's bad. No more stealing. Alright, so that cure should hit VV and Eco now. Yeah, one more time. Why not? Man down. Yep. The man's back up. Don't worry. Did I hit him with the slow? I don't even think I hit him properly. Ouch. Okay, we're gonna use Ramu. Seriously, auto potion is way too OP. Okay. Then run. Oh, it's just a Phoenix down mode. I might relegate VV to just throwing out potions at this point, because that, that earthquake does way too much damage. Wait, did I just steal again? Oh, I was trying to attack. It's alright, I may have recovered. You should be okay now. I probably don't need the potion for the time being. Oh, now I will. Right. Let's throw out a Kira. This is the only issue with auto potion. Now the fight's going to take three times as long. Because everyone's got to throw out a potion. Except Eco. So everyone else is fine, Eco's just dying constantly. Alright, this should be the shorter animation, right? Yeah. How much did that do? 640. Not bad, not bad. Doesn't have anything. What a waste of a turn. Alright, if he does an earthquake, we should be fine. Uh, I think. Yeah, she's still with your cure up. So... Yeah, I guess she can just attack whatever. She should be pretty close to dying, right? Hip hop? Ugh! Ugh! No, 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 no. Jeez, he does so much damage. What the hell? I should have preempted that. Alright, so Eko's gonna have to cure her. Kuraga? This boss is an arsehole. <laughs> you can say you're killed by hip hop. Uh, what's this do? I wish I could do a party ride to protect, but unfortunately not. Actually, here we go. That would help. Now I just need to knock black magic on him. Never seen that happen before, really. Okay, I'll probably have to eat her up. No, he's just dead. Oh, wow, she didn't die. Holy moly. Alright, so I'll eat her up on Eco. We're gonna do a pro strat here, check this out. Miss! That sucks. Aha, it's hip hop missed. Let's try, buddy. 
Uh, I don't want to magic him, do I? Take out those pro strats. To reflect off the boss. Back onto the party. Too good. Go for the summon again. Now, summons aren't affected by reflect, are they? Awesome. I guess they're easy. Uh, let's, um... I probably won't need to potion, because I've got someone curing. I'm gonna do a focus, and then I'm gonna cast a Reflect on BB. So then he can just bounce spells off of the boss. Alright, another Terrestrial Rage. Kaboom. How much damage? 600? 500. Almost Konami damage. How is he not dead yet? Holy moly. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll do it on summon. He's earth based. <laughs> earth based. Knocked down. Oh, well, this is a Konami belt. There we go. Yeah, really rough boss, honestly. If I'd used the float, this would have been way easier, but I don't remember if I had float yet. I forgot the full animation. God, it's loud though. Earth-shatteringly cloud. How is he not dead? Seriously. There we go. Take the fist of justice. Damn straight. Oh, that took way longer than I thought it would. Okay. I mean, we do get some really nice items. That big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Eko. Tee <laughs> thanks. Hey, how come you can summon Eidolons, Eko? I thought you could too, Sarah. Well... Not usually. Hey, have you always been able to do that? Of course, my grandpa and everyone else did it all the time. What do you mean? Hey, that's not the way to my house, that's the way to the leaf tree. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The leaf tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the leaf tree. The leaf tree? Let's go. The lavatory? <laughs> okay. Uh, while we're here, we're gonna. Is she finished with the golden flute? No. Wait, she's got auto regen. I am a fool. I did not equip her with her abilities. Automatically cast regen in battle. Yes. High tide. Legendary to transfer. Yes. How did I not have that on? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's head towards Echo's house. So, low path? Probably the high path, but. Hey, there's a chest here. Come on. Nice, juicy ether there. Green stone, take it out. So then when I find a hole, I can, you know, do what Zidane does with holes. And shove something big in there. Hey, I'm thinking in Zidane mind, that's not me by the way. Just dirty, dirty Zidane. 